You can add either an existing domain name that you've registered with another company, or you can register a new domain name with Web Starts. Let's take a look and see how that's done. In this lesson, I'll show you how to add a domain name to your website. Web Starts allows you to add new domain names to your website, as well as existing ones that you've registered at a different registrar. To get started, click on the Add Domain button, and then enter the domain name that you'd like to add into the field provided and click Search. If the domain name is available, you can click Continue. It's important to remember that you have to be on a Web Starts paid plan in order to set up the domain name. And if you are on a paid plan, that domain name will automatically begin to work with your website as soon as you complete checkout. If you select the option that you already own a domain name, enter the domain name that you already own into the field provided, and then click Continue. It'll show that the domain name is available, and once again, you'll need to upgrade to a paid plan in order to connect that domain name to your website. After checkout, however, domain names that you registered elsewhere won't automatically work with Web Starts. You'll need to log in to your existing registrar and update your DNS records to ns1.webstarts.com and ns2.webstarts.com. If you need help doing that, feel free to reach out to us. Once your domain name is successfully registered, you'll notice that the link will change to your domain name from your .webstarts.com address. When you click on the domain name, you'll navigate to your Web Starts website. With Web Starts, you can connect multiple domain names to the same website. And to do that, you just click on Add Domain Name and go through the process again. If your domain name's available, you'll be taken to the checkout page where it will then charge you for just the domain registration instead of a whole other plan. If you'd like to manage those domain names, you can click on the drop down menu in the top right, click on My Domains, and your domain names will be listed. From there, you can click on the edit icon to manage individual settings like A records, DNS, and a lot more. In this lesson, we learned that Web Starts allows you to connect new domain names as well as existing domain names. That new domain names are set up to work with your website automatically, whereas existing domain names require you to update your name server information to ns1.webstarts.com and ns2.webstarts.com with your previous registrar. That concludes lesson number four, how to add a domain name to your website. Thanks for watching. Wow, four lessons down and just three more to go. You just learned how to add a domain name to your website, and now it's time to do a little bit of search engine optimization.